Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I welcome you all in this morning devotional service in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, at this very moment, uh, let us give thanks to our Almighty God for giving us such a beautiful day, beautiful morning, a good and a pleasant time. And let me also take this time. Uh, to acknowledge my sincere thanks and gratitude to our Synod UIF leaders, office peers, and central committee <coughs> members for giving me this privilege. <coughs> I feel very much fortunate to be appointed as a devotion leader on this very great event. And I would also like to thank God for enabling me to take up my responsibility. <coughs> okay, uh, first, let us uh, commit our time to God and invoke Him to be present in our lives. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank You for giving us good and pleasant times once again. Dear Lord, as we come this morning to worship You and to meditate upon Your Holy Word, we receive your presence in our midst and we offer all our time unto your hand. <clears throat> Guide us and lead us from being to the end for your glory. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Asam Jada Samay Nilega. In this UDP mixed karega, in this Buddha said, we have to not be a hai, to be a Sakta hai, simple in this, broken in this, the heart of having broken hair, Bahame, Abu, Jordan, Kosis karega, to essay some as Naja. So, well, this morning uh, for our short meditations. Uh, I would like to read the Bible verses and uh, say a few words from Romans chapter 6, uh, verse, verses 6 to 14. If you want to read the Bible, Romans chapter 6, verses 6 to 14. Let, let us hear the word of God. We know that our law, our old self, was crucified with him, so that the body of sin might be destroyed, and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Dead no longer has dominion over him. The dead he died, he died to sins once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourself dead to sins and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Therefore do not let sins exercise dominion in your mortal bodies to make you obey their patience, no longer presence your members to sin as instruments of wickedness, but presence yourself to God as those who have been brought from death to life, and presence your members to God as an instrument of righteousness. For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under law, but under grace. May God bless upon the office of his own word. Amen. <coughs> so as we look, uh, so we know that we are all known that we have asked our uh, leaders to have specially assigned today for the celebration of the Golden Jubilee, isn't it? So by the grace of God, we have been given the capacity and the force of wisdom. Faithfulness and goodness toward us, the devil's goodness, and the 
for second and well for the very last time in the 50 years the golden Jubilee celebrations of BYF since this month. And it is uh, indeed a great and joyous moment for, for all of us. So today uh, I would like to relate my uh, short sharing with uh, Jubilee. <laughs> When you talk about uh, Jubilee or when you talk about uh, the year of Jubilee, based on the teachings of the Bible, Bible in case is uh, uh, you see on the teachings of the Bible, uh, the 50 years, so um, the year of Jubilee, the uh, 50 years is not just numbers. In the Bible, the 50 years or so Jubilee years, uh, it has or it have both a spiritual and theological significance, and as it is uh, elaborated and explained, uh, so on Leviticus and Milahai, as it is elaborated or explained in the book of Leviticus, uh, chapter 25, uh, the 50 years or the year of Jubilee uh, was uh, a period of forgiveness and. A period of liberty or freedom, a period of reconciliation, a period of a fresh opportunity or a moment of hope and also we can say complete trust in the Lord or complete trust in God. So if we look in uh, Leviticus 25, we can see that in the year of Jubilee, the Israelites were told or they were asked to proclaim liberty or freedom throughout the land and even to all its inhabitants. They should, and they are also asked that they should, in the year of Jubilee, they should return every one of them um, to their property and to their family. But, uh, they should, so uh, cheese and so cheese, they have to return. Uh, it says that you have, uh, you should return to you, to every one of you, uh, to your property, and every one of you to your family. It's a sikhayan. And in the year of Jubilee, the Israelites were not allowed to sow and reap, even not to harvest. And they are allowed to eat only from what the field produces by itself. So, a complete dependence on God, complete trust in God. Ulu, chinta nahi karne ka ki hamlu kya khai ka is Jubilee year. The Bhagavad Gita promised them, God promised them to pro pro provide during the time of the Jubilee year. And He will provide a blessing. God promised them, He will also provide a blessing. And in the year of Jubilee, they should release uh, those persons who sold themselves to someone or to somebody uh, as a slave uh, <coughs> in the year of Jubilee. And they are also asked to keep holy, and the jubilee year, the jubilee year will be a holy year to the Israelite. So, therefore, uh, when we uh, study the books of Leviticus, chapter five, we can know that the year of jubilee, or the fifty years, uh, was a period of forgiveness, a period of liberty, and freedom, and reconciliation. A fresh opportunity to do something good and a moment of hope and also complete trust in God. And now, uh, if we look into the New Testament again, uh, mm, like uh, the Old Testament and the New Testament is also the year of Jubilee or 50 years is not just a number, but Jubilee in the New Testament means. The coming of Christ. The coming of Christ. 
<coughs> As we all know that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was crucified and died for our sins on the cross, and he was raised from the dead on the third day. And the Bible passage, which we have just read out from the Romans chapter 6, verse 6 to 14, it tells us that our all self, all self matlab, a self that returned after Adam, or you can say like a self that rebellions against God. So all self in Hamburga and the all self was crucified with Jesus on the cross and so that the body of sin uh, might, be uh, might be destroyed and so that we might no longer be enslaved to sin. This is what we have learned. And this is what we have learned. This is what we have learned. As Christ had been raised from the dead, the dead has no longer control or dominion over Jesus or over him. And the dead Jesus Christ died. He died to sin once for all, but the life he lives, he lives to God. But he lives to God. As I'm from Bacham Sunai, Usme Esam Ulai. And when this Bible process also teaches us that to identify ourselves with the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ and to consider ourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. So it's come up here that uh, here it means we have been set free from sin because uh, our own self has already died with Jesus on the cross and his resurrection has also granted us a, re a new life which is also eternal eternal life so we become a new human being or a new creation a new human being a new creation not to live as we please but to live to please God so from here what we can learn is that in Christ Jesus there is forgiveness of sin Freedom from the slavery of sin, reconciliations of human to God, fresh opportunity to live out our life with Jesus and complete trust in God, and there is also a living and eternal hope in Jesus Christ as well. So, just I have mentioned here. So, in Leviticus, we have to say that the year of victory was a period of forgiveness, a period of freedom, a period of reconciliation, a hope of moments, a moment of hope, sorry, and a complete trust in God. So, most of us, Christ will be alive. In the death and resurrection of Christ, we will be alive. We will be alive. The Jubilee blessing, so Leviticus will be alive. Christ will be alive. So therefore we can affirm that the fullness of Jubilee blessings are fully embedded uh, and fulfilled in Christ. So today as we are going to celebrate or as we are celebrating the 50 years of establishment of the PYF CSD Synod, let us remind ourselves that God has already forgiven our sin and had set us free from the control and dominion of sin and also granted us a new life, a new and eternal life to live according to His will and according to the will of God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So therefore, we shall no longer allow the sin to exercise dominion or rule over us again and we shall no longer uh, present our body the members of uh, members uh, no longer present your members in members matla look at a past you can say like a past of our body like our eyes mouth our tongue hands legs of course we shall not present our body 
for an instrument of wickedness. Rather, we should present our body to God for an instrument of righteousness. So, I'm Chata Haiti. I'm a celebration of Jubilee uh, should be observed as a time or as a period of freedom from the slavery of sin, as a time of reconciliation to God, as a time of first opportunity to live a life with Jesus, as a time for forgiving each other <coughs> and may this Jubilee also give. Uh, a new hope in Christ and Jubilee years is not the end time it is uh, a new beginning uh, <coughs> it is the time to start a new beginning and uh, we also we should, uh, we should also remember that in Christ Jesus every day uh, every year or every moment is uh, the Jubilee moment for the people of God. So, Hamdu is Samai or his conference may sit Sundar Laki Tindi Gili Anisita Kuslam Nehuma or sit Sundar Laki Tindi Gili Anisita Kuslam Nehuma, Fayda Nehuma or Khwar Nekia Gana Gaya Hissi Kusko Adikri Gili Anisita Kus Fayda Lam Nehuma Hamdu Jubilee year of you celebrate Karta Hai or Amuka Jo Israel Lago Kesa, a Jubilee year was celebrated at that. Or Amuk Soske, we say he happy is Samaye, a Jubilee year was celebrated at this whole Ajahn. Let us remind ourselves again that we already know, we all know that Jesus Christ has died for our sins and he has resurrected <coughs> and he is now he is dead resurrected. Uh, our sins are forgiven. We are set from. We are set free from uh, the control or dominance uh, of sin. So, जो हम में है जो हम खराब चीज जो हम उसको छोड़ नहीं सकता. In our daily life, जो हम उस बहुत खराब चीज चीज से हम उसका बात जो हम लोग छोड़ने भी चाहता है कि छोड़ छोड़ने नहीं सकने वाला भी बहुत कुछ होता है. तो इस बार जुबिलिय सेलिब्रेशन में वो सब को हम लोग छोड़ सकने से और आगे बढ़ सकने से तो हम लोग का जुबिलिय सेलिब्रेशन बहुत लाभ होगा बहुत फायदा होगा ये हम बोलना चाहता है सो जस्ट व्हाट आई वांट टू से मेक योर ब्लेस अपॉन शेयरिंग ऑफ दिस होल वीडियो